Hello. So I have been having a bit of a rough time lately and it feels like my emotions have just been put through the shredder and I feel a little bit mad about that. So instead of what I usually do, which is just stuff my face with Oreos like a child, I decided to be a grown up and bake myself a cake and stuff my face with that because cakes are for adults. Enjoy this video. Today I'm making chocolate Oreo roll cake because why not? The first step is to crack the eggs and separate the whites from the yolks to remind yourself that no matter how long you've been with something else, no matter how close-knit you seem to be, you can always be pulled apart. Do this again to really drive home the separation. Oh, look at these two yolks. Break them apart. Add some sugar because a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. And also add some oil from the excess acne building up on your face due to stress. And then add some milk. This milk is from Costco. I have nothing bad to say about it because Costco is a beautiful place. Then add some vanilla because we're really trying to be adventurous with this one and mix everything together. If you cook this right now, you'd probably get dessert scrambled eggs. Not sure I would recommend that, but just know that you always have options, even if your options are trash. Now it's time to sift in the good stuff. And by good stuff, I mean carbs. And by carbs, I mean cake flour and cocoa powder. Make sure to sift it properly to get rid of any bad chunks because you do not need that in your life. Mix it until it's well incorporated and smells like delicious fudge. And alrighty, now that you have the chocolatey part, it's time for the fluffy part, which basically just means beat these egg whites to death. Basically, pretend that this batter represents how life is going, and the egg whites are your soul. Occasionally throw in some sugar in there because it can't be all bad all the time. And eventually, it'll reach this nice glossy consistency where it can form peaks. I don't think I mix this quite enough, but what can I say? I was bored with mixing and I didn't feel like doing it anymore. Now all there's left to do is to combine this with the chocolate thing. This part is super crucial because you 100% do not want to deflate the egg mixture, or else you'll just be left with a sad pancake after all your hard work, and you definitely don't want all that going to waste. Incorporate the egg white a little bit at a time because you're considerate and you don't want to shock the chocolate with too much change at once. Eventually it should come together into some sort of batter. Mine was pretty uneven and had a bunch of air bubbles, but it is what it is. I poured it into a baking tray, banged it on the counter a few times to vent my frustration, and then into the oven. When you're cleaning up your ingredients, realize that you forgot to put any baking powder in your cake and then proceed to have a mild existential crisis over not even being able to bake a cake properly, but then tell yourself that your cake is too good for the baking powder and probably didn't even need it anyway. When it's ready, dump the cake onto some parchment paper, peel it back slowly, and ta-da! Did the cake rise? unknown, but it did not collapse at least, and that's really all we can ask for. Let it cool for a bit so it's not burning hot to the touch, but don't let it cool completely or else it will crack on you, like everything else in your life. Now we're going to work on pre-rolling the cake to help it maintain its shape. Make sure you're super nervous when you do this because the cake doesn't like it when you're overly confident. Cut some lines in the beginning to make it easier to roll, and then realize that doesn't really work. Also, it's actually fine if the beating part cracks because it's on the inside of the cake roll anyway, right? Trim off the outside of the cake because those pieces are hard and you don't need anything making your life more difficult and also eat them because you deserve it. So you just need to roll this about halfway and then you can just give up for now because that's good enough and just stick it in the fridge until you feel like continuing this again or if you're feeling extra ambitious, at least until it's cooled down completely. Now it's time for the Oreo cream cheese filling. Take some Oreos, picture your worst enemy, and then beat them up with your fists. If your visualization techniques are weak and you can't bring enough anger to the table, you can also resort to crushing them with a rolling pin, like the weak person that you are.
Then you'll want to combine some cream cheese and sugar in a bowl that's overly large because you can never really be too careful. Add some heavy cream to match your heavy mood and beat until fluffy. Add in those crushed Oreos from earlier, and when you're mixing this, you'll realize that this is basically just Oreo cheesecake, and then you'll feel the strong inclination to eat it straight out of the bowl. But remind yourself that you have some dignity, and if you just wait like 10 more minutes, you can eat it in a cake, like the civilized adult that you are. Then realize that you're kidding yourself and just sneak a few bites anyway. Before you manage to eat the whole thing, take the cake out of the fridge, please. It should have this nice roll shape, and then you can spread the filling on top in an even layer. Roll it back up all the way this time, press it together tightly, and make sure to give it a motivational speech and tell it to hold itself together. Set it in the fridge to chill again for 1-2 to two hours, but in reality, ignore it for a whole day because you binged on too many other foods while waiting for the cake to set and now you're too full to eat it. Just eventually you take it out of the fridge. And remember, the cake hates arrogant people, so make sure to be nervous while you do this. But unwrap it, cut it, and... Wow, that swirl. Look at this cake. Look at it. Fine, it does have a few air bubbles, but... Hey, I tried my best, and it tastes phenomenal. So, did baking this cake make me feel better about my life? No, but at least now I have delicious cake to eat. Well, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And hopefully next week I'll be in a better mood. Bye!